Everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you all how to form up a cantilever pool deck. So, what does a cantilever pool deck mean? Uh, I mean, like with concrete. So, the concrete's going to sit on here and uh, kind of like overhang over into the pool. So, that's going to be the edge of the uh, pool. This is going to be the concrete. So, first things first, we got to put this rebar ring in. You just drill a hole through here, make sure it's bigger. You got some hook bars, rebar, and you bend it right around. And uh, you gotta have an electrician or something, you know, bond it to the pool. Next thing you're gonna do is uh, take these self tappers. You put them every foot and let them uh, up, you know, like a half inch. And uh, make sure they're on the back side, not the front, far away from the pool edge. Do that all the way around. You're gonna need these cantilever deck forms called Stagmire. Here you can get them at website. So basically, they come and they are styrofoam. And then I coat them all in packaging tape like this. The biggest thing is where the concrete goes is there can be no bubbles, it has to be perfectly smooth. And in that box, there are a bunch of ties like this and washers. And I'll show you all how to do that. If you notice the outside forms are done. And if you're wondering how to get the pitch correct without putting the forms up, the, the cantilever forms, they are the same exact size as a two by four. So you can put a two by four on the edge here and figure out your pitch over there. Time for uh, the form. So these are yellow strips here. You can just peel them off. So basically what these are, are uh, double-sided tape. So they're gonna stick right to the walls of the pool. You wanna make sure you have enough water out so they don't get wet. Do not get these wet at all. It would be really bad. So you just gotta peel this off. So once you get the tape start to go, you're going to want to stick it level with the uh, lip of uh, the pool. So they come off like that. You want to be the cameraman? Go ahead. All right. So you're going to want to pre-bend it. it. Looks like it's not that bad. You're only gonna go like a foot and a half at a time. So we already got one on here. You keep it away, you make sure you don't put that in the water. He's gonna take that and pull it for me as we go. So you're gonna match up to that form and stick it. And I use my fingers as a guide. So I'm a little high there. And you just stick it against. Okay, you can pull a little bit more. And you just follow that all the way down. Just matching the uh Height. Yep, hold on. <clears throat> Pretty simple in my mind. But if you got any questions about this part, just let me know. I'll try and answer it for you. Make sure it's all snug good and it is. The next step is you're gonna take duct tape and you gotta, you gotta duct tape this seam here where it's sticking like we did here. That way none of the uh, concrete when it, we're pouring it goes down into the water. All right, every uh, time you put a form together you gotta tape that as well and then uh, you know so make sure you don't put any bubbles in it. See how uh, Wavy Davy here is being real careful with uh, the tape, you know. So yeah, you tape first, and then you're gonna come through, and you got your uh, ties here uh, for your forms. So what you do is you twist it. Uh, we're usually about an inch down from the top on this side. You twist it through like a drill bit. The other side, that way you don't mess the tape up. Pull it tight. And then you wrap it around that uh, self-tapper that we put in there. Another important thing, as you're going, notice we have two screws a little close together. That way on each side of this form, we have a tie. To make sure the edges of our forms don't give out when we're uh, pouring concrete. If you have a really tight curve like this, this is where we started because it was so tight. 
we just put a little extra uh, support there on those ties. And then we're gonna do that same process all the way around the pool. So again, you just stick that first form there, match the lip to the lip of the form, tape it, twist the ties through, wrap them around your self tapper, and that's that. We're pre-bending them before we stick them. So like there's a bend there. So we got Wavy Davy here, you know, bending it to the way the pool's shaped. That way it's easier to stick on and you don't gotta fight it. Another thing, you get one shot, one chance to get uh, you know, that to stick right. Once it's on, it's on. So make sure you're in the right position. Go a little bit at a time or you're gonna rip it off and ruin your form. They're a one-time stick, one-time use. So we're over to the filter box there and you got a notch around it because you know, you don't have any space there. So we marked it. Now we're going over to the saw horses and we're slicing it, making a slice where we marked it. He's cutting it with a razor knife. He's crazy. But yeah, notched out where the box is, slice them out, and then it'll stick right over that thing. So when it's done, it'll look like that. You got everything taped, all your joints wired in, you know, everything looking clean. Cut around that filter box, looking sharp. Put a couple extra around that, you know. You tape anything like this. We have no handrails for this one. So if you have a filter box, you know, put your extension collars on it. Set it to height, duct tape it in place so it doesn't move. And just make sure you tape the top. You got this lid thing, tape the top of that. You know, just keeping stuff clean. Yeah, and you got any questions, just feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching. In the next video, I will be showing y'all how to pour a pool deck like this. So how to actually get the edges of the concrete nice and looking clean and all that. So, you know, next video, click on that if you want to learn how to pour the concrete.